Good morning everybody, though it's not morning at all anymore, it's about 1 p.m. and I am only now starting the day, though not really. I didn't put in an alarm run because I was so exhausted from not sleeping and the whole Kamakura meltdown, let's just call it that, the Kamakura meltdown. Um, it was just like, I was dead on my feet, I was an emotional wreck, my anxiety was through the roof, so I didn't put an alarm on, but I still woke up automatically at 7, but I did sleep. Pretty good last night. But I did get up, I worked on my travel journal because I hadn't done that the day before. I cannot figure out the angle for this today. Uh, I worked on my journal, and also, big real realization is that, sorry, I think my camera is getting wet. You're, you're protected, it's better. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, big realization is that I have blown my budget, so we are officially out of money. So don't worry, I still have enough to eat, I still have enough to get back home. Don't worry about that, but I don't have enough to go to Yokohama, for example, and I don't have enough to do anything really fancy, so it's going to be very limited. I've, recalc I've recalculated my budget. And uh, we're just going to have to do little things and see what we can do. So that's what I spent the morning doing. It took it really easy, really chill. So far for breakfast and lunch, I have spent uh, the equivalent, I think, of uh, 10 euro, I think. Which is okay. I mean, see how expensive things get. I just had the, my breakfast at the hostel, which was 600 yen, so about 5 euro, maybe a little less. And then I had a big lunch at a... I went to a supermarket to see if it was cheaper, but I think it's about the same price as, as a uh, konbini. But I went to the supermarket because I was dying for something green, something semi-healthy. I found some soup, which was probably really processed and salty, but there was something green. There was some veg in it, so I had that for lunch. Had some tea, had some matcha latte, which was uh, counted in my uh, breakfast this morning, so about 10 euros, so we're doing okay for the, for now. And even though we are broke, we are going to Nakano Broadway today because, as you can see, the weather is disastrous. Broke out my umbrella that you guys chose for me, so this is the baptism of the Starry Night Umbrella. I think that's what we're going to call it, the Star Umbrella. Starry Night? We'll see, we'll figure it out. It's not the Strawberry Umbrella anymore. So, uh, going to Nakano Broadway because I need to get out of the hostel. I'm not going to stay there all day, but uh, I need somewhere dry. And Nakano Broadway, I think, is the kind of place you can look around without necessarily buying anything. That's what I'm telling myself. I've done a fair bit of shopping so far, so hopefully I don't need anything else. I, I, I don't need anything else. Hopefully I won't want anything else. Um, I think that's it for the update. I'm gonna get out of this rain, find the subway station, go to Nakano Broadway. That's where I'm gonna spend the day. I have to do something. Don't wanna uh, waste a day. I'm still figuring out where I need to go, but I just came across this little gacha place. I think I need to go up. Oh, oh my god. What are those? Like for cats? Cats for cats? These are amazing. Uh, they're all so expensive and we're being careful, like 400 yen. Oh my god. It's my friends. Honey. Oh, this one is really cute and it's not, not too expensive, but I'm out of change. Of course, I found myself in a stationery store again, but look at these designs, they're really cute. <laughs> Broccoli. They're so cute, I might get one for my cousin. I've never seen anything quite like this before. They're little notebooks, but they look like you, like vintage. Um, matchbooks. That's so cool. That's really, really cool. I'm not sure if I can film in here, that's why I'm whispering. <laughs> I've been considering getting a children's book. 
Maybe it helped me read Japanese, but there's so much to choose from. I wouldn't know where to start. Is that Kochan no Danjobi? Okay, Zoe, I bought you the broccoli washi tape and I even asked the cashier how to say it in Japanese. And guess what it is? Budokori. <laughs> I probably asked it in a really weird way, but she was happy to. She was laughing about it. She was really sweet. So, it's kind of a weird place. I thought it would be like all like. I don't know. I imagined it differently. But it's cool. A lot of gacha. A lot of figurines. Oh, no photos. No photos. Kind of an unfortunate name. <laughs> Whoopsie. This said this is really cute. There's so much crap. Like so much. And I call it crap as in stuff. So much stuff. Still back there had a ton of like gacha like figurines. Probably are gacha figurines that they resell. I had a ton of them and it's a good thing I don't fangirl over a lot of shows What's wrong with this camera angle? So it's a good thing I don't fangirl over too many things Pokemon, turns out back there I was really looking at the Yu Yu Hakusho figurines Because I really like that show from when I was younger uh, I'll just hide here <laughs> And they had so many like, you know those fake foods that are really cute They, they had that and It was cute. They had all these little cute animal keychains and stuff, and I'm like, it, I want them, but it's just stuff. <laughs> the budget it could has to step in when this happens. But this is a really cool little like place. If you're into anime, you're gonna be like, well, probably can't film here. You're gonna be like good. You're gonna be happy. You see what I mean? All these little gacha like. So cute. They're like the kind of things I would collect for sure. Mm. So bad. Especially these ones. These are the ones I would collect for sure. Luckily, the only one that really speaks to me is that Raichu. Raichu right back there but it's like 1500 yen so that's out of the question good but i did buy one thing one thing i hope you guys will concede this one thing i'm being very careful i bought the broccoli washi tape for my cousin and i bought another pin <laughs> said i would buy more pins so this one was, as you can see, 300 yen, which is about, I don't know, less than 2 euros maybe? I have to check. But it's second hand, so it's cheaper. I have a bag full of trash that I have to empty when I get back. But this one is like slightly damaged, so it's cheaper. Sorry, out of focus. Slightly damaged, but I'm okay with that because it's going to be on my bag anyway, so... Another one for the collection. It's green though. We're getting a lot of green. Need less green. <laughs> mm. Need more colorful, cute pins. Send me pins. Etsy creators. <laughs> this gal is looking for freebies. Here we go. What do you think? Definitely need some other colors in there because these are not my favorite color palette for sure and this bag is supposed to be much pinker but it's a little more on the orangey side so we need some good colors on here Whoa. <laughs> OTT much mandarake 
There is literally anything and everything. I saw Harry Potter. I saw Ninja Turtles. Can't be told to go through here. <laughs> between a panel and a tree so I'm not hopefully not bothering anyone by talking in front of the Higashi train station what does it say? I don't know that's the train station right behind me for the Hibiya line to I just said it and I just forget it Higashi Ginza I think so I've already been in Ginza if you watched my last vlog you'll know that we're out of cash we're done this trip is um, is more than budget friendly at this point it's uh, a broke person's guide kind of like we have just enough to hit a few more spots here in Tokyo so yesterday as you know I took the day off a little bit took a step back looked at the things I still wanted to do still wanted to see still wanted to experience wrote them down and saw what was going to be possible through these final few days here in Tokyo food wise I've tried most of the things I wanted to eat like soft serve ice I had Nikoman from the vending from the vending machine kind of from the convenience store yesterday it wasn't really worth filming it, I had it last time but didn't have it this time yet, so I just had two Nikoman, which are steamed buns. I had one pizza flavored one, which was really good and like not Japanese at all, but it was uh, it was good for a change. And I had a sweet ankle one, which was really not sweet. <laughs> I, I say it's more savory than anything else, but it was really good. Had those yesterday, totally off topic, just forgot to film it because I wasn't a 7 Eleven, and you're not allowed to film in there anymore, it's like no photography. Um, back to the subject, had most of the food that I wanted to try soft serve, uh, I get more tea. I haven't had nabe yet, I don't know if it's gonna be um, an option for me at this point. But what I haven't had, and I always wanted to try it, and I know it's really dumb because it's not really Japanese, it is a Japanese style dish, but it's very westernized. It's omelette, so Japanese omelette and rice. Very basic, but I've looked up places that are good to have omelette, and I found a place here in Giza called Yu. So it's a kisaten, kisaten is a cafe. And I'm gonna go look for it now because apparently it lines up also really early and it's about to open. I'm still quite early, but it's about to open. I'm gonna go see if I can line up already. And apparently it's a very a very fluffy omelet that is very appreciated by by girls. The omurais is gonna be today's big treat, main treat in Ginza. I'm not gonna stay in Ginza because I've already been there. I've been most most places. Places I haven't really checked out is Ebisu and Meguro. So that's is probably what I'm gonna be doing next. I'm talking really fast because I want to move out of this place uh, but just telling you guys what I'm going to do today it's going to be from now on not visiting areas as I've been doing before but more hopping from one place to the next like checking off the small things that are still on my to-do list taking into account that since I'm going to be hopping from one place to another it's going to take a toll on my uh, travel expenses so Keep that in mind if you're doing the same thing. I always have a budget per day and I always include the transportation in it. Usually I walk, but today if I walk it's going to be like 40 minutes walk from here to there so it's not really worth losing so much time walking. It's not even that great a day. It's kind of raining, kind of not. We'll see how it goes but for now let's go figure out where our little omurais uh, cafe. Also while I'm at it, this for the kabuki kabuki the, the kabuki theater <laughs> whoa uh, that's the station for it that's why it looks so impressive and uh, you know traditional looking 
Also, I wanted to mention that I'm feeling much better today. I needed that day off. I needed some rest. I think I've slept like two full nights since I've been here, which is not good. I was feeling really like drained and I know that myself, if I don't get enough sleep, if I don't eat properly, if I don't exercise, I get really unbalanced anxiety-wise. My anxiety just flared up like it's never done. Well, it hasn't been like that in a long time, so it was good that I took a day off. It's getting busy again, so let me just, let me just catch you all the way. Look at this fat pivot. Fat pigeons. Look. You can do some uh, re reflexology, I think that's what it's called, here. Obviously not with your shoes, and obviously I'm not going to take my shoes off right now, but... Where, which way do you start? This way? There? Around? <laughs> Found myself in Tsukiji. You remember, came here when it was completely empty. time to spare. How did I end up getting there so early? Usually I lose myself, I get late all the time. So I'm still in there. This is like Tsukiji station is right there. Ginza, Rokongi, Abisu, Meguro. I think these are the stops for today. What's the difference between a normal Lawson and a natural Lawson? Theme song research. Do -do 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 -do. This is where I'll be eating. Still not open. No line though, so I'm not gonna wait here. This is where I'll be eating. I'd love to see an act of Kabuki's that one day. But not alone. I'm sick of doing things alone. Solo travel is cool, but. I want to do things, I want to meet people, and I want to travel with people next time. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. Okay, it's still super early, but I'm gonna go queue at that at uh, cafe, Kisaten. Of course, there's a line If you remember the last time I came here in the actual Rokongi 
I wasn't the biggest fan. I can't exactly recall why. I don't think there was any reason in particular. I don't think there was anything wrong with it. I think it was just more like a personal taste thing, like it wasn't really my vibe. But here I am again. And this time I'm looking for the Tokyo National Center and I'm lost. Like, <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to turn here? I can't remember. Let's just check our trusty. Oh, it looks like I'm in the right direction somehow. Wow. Small roads and cars. See? Tiny roads and then cars. Yeah. What I do like about Rokongi though are the small roads like these next to the buildings. Kind of a mix and match situation type of thing and also the cabling is really something eh? <laughs> i guess that's what i like the mix and match aspect of it i'm guessing that this is it i'm gonna see how much it is to get in i kind of forgot to check the <laughs> prices before getting there which was kind of dumb of me that'd be it opening hours doesn't say anything about tickets Go check it out anyway. I think it's this way. <laughs> Into the pyramid thingy above. Okay. I'm not sure how much I can film here, so if it cuts, somebody will probably ask me to stop. So in the basement of the National Art Center of Tokyo, I'm not sure that's the order of things, there is a really cool gift shop. That was the reason I came here in the first place. It might be weird, but it was recommended to me in the guide. There are some free exhibitions. Mainly the shop is where I wanted to go. You can't film inside the shop, you can't take photos, but it's a really trendy souvenir, something that you will never be able to find elsewhere. Um, unfortunately, they're mainly like really designed stuff, so really expensive. But I did buy one thing, and you're gonna laugh because it's.
I just went to the Daikin Yama tea site, which is really nice. Lots of books, some stationery, had, had a quick look. There are a bunch of fancy stores. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going to walk back to... Uh, let me think. Walking back... There I found it. Walking back towards Nakameguro for the, the little promenade thing for the cherry blossoms, which aren't going to be there anyway, but... It's a promenade, 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 and that's what I'm going to do. In case I'm looking a little weird, my anxiety just flared up, like, skyrocketed up. Might be the coffee, might just be the crowd. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's super frustrating. It did not happen like this last time. Did not have this much anxiety or at all. So, right across. Let's try this again. <laughs> As I was saying. Anxiety, bad. Don't know why, sucks. Dealing with it in any way that I can. I'm not gonna let it stop me, but it sucks. It feels like shit. It's not the usual anxiety, it's like the really big pangs that I feel like physically right here. And I even started hyperventilating at one point. Which, oh, I hate it. That shop in Belgium. Did not expect to find it here. I don't know why I'm surprised always to find things that I have at home here. It's really dumb. Pretty sure it's over here. And it looks really cool. I wonder if it's blocked off. Uh, we'll just give it a try. Shall we? I'm sure it's gonna look so beautiful when everything's in bloom. So, so beautiful, but I'm gonna be walking down here. Let's go. Yes, yes, wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Probably a few weeks later and this will be in full bloom. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, look, look, for sure. It's starting, not quite yet. Oh my God, I forgot to change the camera battery. <laughs> okay. Let's have a little walk through here. Even there, if there are no flowers, I'm sure it's a nice little route. Not raining. So, again, yes, yes, wee oui, wee. Oui. This is me fighting my anxiety with humor, even if it's weird humor. That's kind of where the promenade is uh, Promenade, promenade, you guys tell me. Uh, it sounds weird either way for me. The French word in English sometimes it just doesn't make a sense. Uh, yeah, heading to Meguro Station. It's still really early, so I'm not ready to go back yet. But I am going out this evening, so I don't need to, I can't go back too late. I want to change and I want to shower and everything and redo my face. But it's still too early to go back now and it's too beautiful to go back now. So I'm going to go to Meguru, Meguru, Meguru Station <laughs> and uh, go to a temple. I got the name, it starts with S. It's not Sensoji, but it sounds like it. I'm going to go to that temple. I do need to take the metro to go there. More money to spend. But, hey. What else am I going to do? Just not do anything? Let's go to, to Meguro. Meguro. Why are the Beatles speaking French? Those are the Beatles, right? I think so. That, that guy looks like John. That guy looks like that's George, right? George or... Interesting. <laughs> Where's the baby 
he's saying abracadabra. <laughs> it's really interesting art. Oh, echoey. Shh. This is kind of a cool little, uh, little spot here. In, near Megura Station. <laughs> I'm out of breath because this is a hill. And every time I'm climbing a hill, I got that song, that Miley Cyrus song stuck in my head. Found the effing station. Wow, not a good time to be here when the schools are coming out. Let's just go this way. I think I need to take the toy line down here. Okay, go, go, go. Why is everything green? What the hell, camera? Google Maps is making me go through a shit ton of steps. And I'm not even sure it's the right way. Okay. Ooh. Well, this doesn't look like I'm uh, arriving at somebody's house or high school, so... <sighs> that's... That's a good thing. I feel like I shouldn't be here, like a little tourist girl. But I'm heading to the temple. And I should definitely have my phone in hand because I know there's a turn coming up. I'm just not sure where. Well, told you, I missed it. Can I go through this way? Uh, not really. Okay, let me back up. Back it up. I think it's this way. It really feels like I should not be here. Like this is someone's house? But Google's Maps is like, yeah, sure, go, th go this way, it's fine. Um, I'm like, no. Cause this is like a dead end, you. Is it? Is it a dead end? <laughs> okay, this is so confusing. <laughs> it's not a dead end. <laughs> Holy crap, where am I going? <laughs> this cannot be right. Okay, I'm checking my map at the same time because this is like weird. <laughs> what the hell? Like, <laughs> I definitely feel like I should not be here. But nobody stopped me so far. Um, Google, are you getting me in trouble? Am I trespassing? I mean, holy crap. For you, for your stories. Okay. It feels like I'm, it feels like I'm arriving somewhere. Yes. Yes, we did it. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Lucky number. Okay, I'm still whispering, but I think we're okay now. I mean, why didn't I come in through that way? That's like the main main way. With all the stores. I guess I'll go out that way then. But now let's let's go to the temple. definitely more likely to be the entrance than the way Google Maps took me even though it was really funny I was like am I supposed to be there? Oh, the blossoms everywhere it's really pretty okay uh, no clue how to get back to the hostel from here it's kind of a off the off the path it was clearly touristy because they had like English signs everywhere but kind of off the path so time to check 
this phone, which is almost dead, 17%. I got my charger in my bag anyway. And uh, I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, what time is it? Five? Did I drop something? Oh, almost 5 p.m. I know it's early, but I think I'm gonna head back to the hostel now. Spent enough money for today and um, get ready, go back out. I'm uh, being, I think I'm gonna stay out in Akihabara tonight. Don't know how much I'm gonna film because I'm going with people and uh, probably they don't want to be on camera or be with a person who's constantly filming. But yeah, you meet people here, you go out with people here. It's fun, stressful for this person with high anxiety, but fun. Okie dokie. See you in a sec. Portion off my lips, my lord for the silver. Is there anything I want? Better check the next coin if I got time to play. I got time to pay. Drink up, better cup vending machine of the day. Okay, it's time for vending machine of the day. This one next to the. And I'm hesitating. I don't know what that is. So I'm, I'm, I am curious. Or a melon soda. But I'm not sure I'm ready for that amount of sugar right now. So, probably this one, though it might not be better. Is it even possible? Okay, let's see what the hell this is. Hang on. Maybe it's just Kalpis. Okay, hang on. It's Kalpis. But it's yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Good choice. I think I would have died with the melon soda anyway. Okay, let's go. Oh. oh okay. I have about a 10 minute walk back to the hostel and I suddenly really, 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 really have to pee. <laughs> like so bad. I don't know what's wrong with my bladder. It's like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Unless I'm like, now. Now. <laughs> so, luckily it's 10 minutes, but right now, these 10 minutes feel like an hour. And now I have to wait to cross and I'm like, ah! <laughs> okay, back to the hostel, transfer all that I have to transfer from my SD card onto my computer, do the photos, uh, shower, change, eat, leave. <laughs> somewhat in that order. I might actually eat as soon as I get back after I pee. That way I eat early. I don't like eating late. Eat early, pee, eat early, do the photos, shower, leave. Something like that. <laughs> Strawberry melon pan for dessert. 